Here we are playing Fallout New Vegas for no reason in particular besides I watched the whole Fallout show and I want to talk about the Fallout show. I thought it was pretty good, so spoilers for the Fallout show. Uh, if you didn't finish watching that show yet and you care, this is not the stream slash video for you. Hello NCR, look that's the NCR. He was in the Fallout show, spoiler. I haven't watched this cutscene in a long time, he's got bad graphics. Ow. Yeah, 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 dot cuts and whatever. I'm talking about the Fallout show. So Fallout show, you got three main characters. You got girl Fallout, you got ghoul Fallout, and you got guy Fallout. I like girl Fallout. Uh, I like ghoul Fallout better. Ghoul Fallout was the best one. Power armor guy was kind of meh. That guy was kind of whatever. He was an okay type character. You can, you can type spoilers in chat. That's fine. I'm going to be girl Fallout. There she is from the TV show. Wait, no, I'm supposed to be the ghoul. Hang on. My name is the ghoul. I gotta be ghoulish. Where's like the 95 year old preset? Hello, I'm old. It's me, the ghoul. Well now, partner, I'm the ghoul from Fallout. You hear? Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Seeing a Mr. House in the show without Renee Aubergenoy made me sad. I am assuming that's the Mr. House original voice actor. And I thought I thought the Mr. House cameo was okay. I like that he didn't have a sign in front of him that said Mr. House. I was really worried that he because all the all the CEO people were just jumping right into the last episode. All the CEO people had a sign that said their company. I was like, please don't say Mr. House on your sign. I know he made the robot company. So it still counts, but it, it was it was okay. That was an okay cameo. I did roll my eyes so unbelievably hard though. At the very end of the show, the very last shot was Agent Cooper going to New Vegas. I was like, oh my god, that 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 was a huge uh, that was a big eye roll moment because I was like, oh, it's just over. They're just setting up season two. Okay, I wonder where season two will be. I was like, oh god, season two is going to be in New Vegas. Good lord. So the, the girl Fallout starts in the vault. I liked her vault. The scene where they got attacked by the raiders was kind of eh. It was a kind of an eh scene. This is, this is, the, this is too much of a, like a pay attention cerebral type game to play while talking about Fallout show. I was like, yeah, I'll just, uh, am I, wait, I'm giving my stuff to him, aren't I? No, take, take the stuff, take it all. I was like, I'll just throw on some New Vegas and then talk about Fallout show, but I kind of want to just play New Vegas normally. Like, fair, subscribe for a New Vegas long play commentary. The bit where they say war never changes was the longest pause I've ever heard. Yeah, that took a while. So it, it wasn't, I think it was weird that Walton Goggins' wife was like the leader of vault or like the second in command, because the way she was talking, it made her sound like she was like a low level employee that knew that vault was going to be evil. And she was like, I mean, we might we might as well just do as best we can. But it turns out she was like in charge of them. All right. I didn't I didn't get she's in charge of them vibes at all. And also that random guy. I, I just did not get she's in charge of the whole company vibes from her. It seemed like she was like a lower level executive. That was like, well, if, if the whole world's gonna get blown up, we might as well be with vault -Tec. But no, she was in charge of it the whole time. I guess she knew her husband would be mad. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not really sure how she hid that she was in charge of the whole company from him. When he was like, who makes the rules? Who makes the rules for the vault? Who's making the rules? Oh, I do. I'm in charge of the whole operation. He's like second in command. Yeah, she was the second in command. I don't know what these do. I'll be good natured because Fallout Girl was good natured. She said okie dokie many times. <laughs> she hates the dog. Yeah, that was her motivation. Her motivation was she didn't like the dog. She wanted the dog to die. That was her character motivation. It's not the kind of show that shines when you analyze it. I don't think any show shines when you analyze it. You can analyze anything to oblivion pretty much. Speaking of analyzing to oblivion, Everybody got real mad about the NCR got blown up. I thought that was great. I thought the NCR getting blown up was hilarious. I actually laughed out loud when they walked up to a giant sign that said, said Shady Sands? Shady Springs? I think it's Shady Sands, right? 
that made me laugh out loud. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> they nuked the Fallout 1 town? That's incredible. I love that they did that, because you, you just know. You just know gamers are furious. That was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. That that was a great move by Todd Howard. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. You're the nicest character. I do not want hardcore mode. No thanks. Not a hardcore gamer. I'm more of a TV show fan. Give me some DLCs. Give me some old world blues type of notifications. There we go. Lonesome Road. Honest Hearts. Add. Welcome to the town that exists in real life. You can go here to the bar on Fallout Day and look at some cosplays. The Gunrunner's Arsenal, that's a little bit too strong for early game. But yeah, I thought, back, back to the Fallout show relationship with NCR, I thought that was very funny. It was very funny that the NCR got blown up and they suck now. That made me laugh. <laughs> that's great. It's so great. Because you, you know I can't resist going on like the Fallout Reddit and reading people's thoughts. Everybody was so mad. Gamers were furious. It was awesome. I forgot they give you the jumpsuit? Yeah, I'm not supposed to have that yet, right? That's not mine. I'm not from a vault yet, I'm the courier. You know, that's more of my speed. That's more what I am. Okay, guns are guns, gotcha. Understood. Sturdy shotgun, oh it's sturdy, it's sturdy. Clothing is clothing, uh, tribal rating armor. Lightweight metal, let's go lightweight metal. It looks pretty stupid. You see this town's IRL photos, yeah. They're always having some kind of a, some kind of a hoot and holler and good time. Can you shoot down the bird in this one? You can in Skyrim. Is Fallout good? Nah, Fallout's bad. This is the best game of all time. The bird didn't even die when I maybe hit it, but probably didn't. Who even makes this game? Look, it's uh, Sunny Smiles. You sound like a town. You sound like a town that got blowed up. Shady Springs, Sunny Smiles, what's the difference? Meet Sunny Smiles behind the Prospector Saloon. I kind of already know how to use the BB gun. I, I walked in brandishing a shotgun in her general direction. Much like the ghoul would do. The ghoul was the best character, obviously. It's not really worth saying the ghoul was the best because the ghoul is obviously the best. Obviously, Mr. Goggins playing a cowboy is going to be the best character in pretty much anything he's in. And he was. Is this... This is the bar, right? Yeah, I was going to say, it's not her house, right? She said meet behind the bar? Yeah, she sets up over there. The thing I'm wondering about with the ghoul was, was his nose CGI? I think yes. I think his nose was CGI. Because I saw a behind the scenes photo and he had his normal human nose. His, his normal human nose was like in a slot and it wasn't makeup. So I think the nose was CGI, but it, it looked pretty good. I could never tell for sure if it was just a really good prosthetic or CGI. Which makes either uh, option equally impressive. Like, if it was fake, it looked real. And if it was real, it didn't look fake. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, yeah, crouching. Nice shot. I forgot. I forgot you need a stable stance. They had good practical effects here. Yeah, there was good start. practical effects. Except for that one shot when the power armor got, like, uh, crushed or whatever. There were a couple shots where the power armor was digital that looked kind of bad. But, you know, it's fine. It's a TV show. The, probably the worst looking shot was when it, the pink guy came out of the ocean and he was like a big monster. I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cartoon bad guy from a TV show right there. The vertebrate wasn't amazing? Yeah, it was fine though. I didn't care about the vertebrate that much because they, they, they showed the exterior of the vertebrate and they're like, here it is. We're gonna cut to a real set now of the vertebrate interior and film it there. That was fine. Also, what looked really bad. I hate this show, it looked terrible. What looked really bad was the episode where they were in front of the Super Duper Mart. The Super Duper Mart is clearly a real, like, set. It's a real Walmart that they had. But the skyline above the Super Duper Mart was replaced with, like, the Fallout bombed out city ruins. But the Super Duper Mart was, like, a straight line, so it just looked really weird. 
Because the Super Duper Mart had like different lighting. Like that that Walmart parking lot looked like a real Walmart parking lot and the entire sky was like Fallout 4 graphics green screen. That looked pretty bad. That was not my favorite. I did like when she went into the Walmart though and there was those two guys watching TV. That'd be me, I'd be the TV guy. I'd just be watching TV all day in Fallout. What is the quest in New Vegas? You gotta go to the Platinum Chip? Ain't that the rule of this game? Ooh, copyrighted broadcast. No thank you. No thank you, Fred Armisen? Isn't that his name? That guy? The radio cameo guy? That guy was fun for his one scene. Speaking of nitpicking things and hating on everything. Uh, when that one guy was in front of the radio stand and the, the vertebrates were coming to pick him up, they all stood there talking for like five minutes after the vertebrates were already right on top of him. Am I really meant to believe the vertebrates didn't see that there were two other people there that also went opposite directions and then they only collected the one Maximus guy and they didn't follow Lucy even though she was also carrying a head? That's a huge plot hole. That cannot be acceptable. I refuse to believe that. All oh, the condition of this thing's going down. I like scientist guy. Yeah, I like scientist guy. It was it was annoying that scientist guy died instantly. I was like, ah, oh, he's fun, but he's gone. He's no longer with us. Enclave is back. Yeah, I'm claving. I'm claving. Howdy. Gotta love the enclave. At least the enclave was a scientist and nothing else. I was really worried that the Brotherhood armor was gonna fight the Enclave armor. And I was like, ah, oh, that would suck. But instead, the Brotherhood armor fights NCR guys, and <laughs> it kinda sucked. Whenever there's a big battle, they don't really know what to do, so they're just gonna have, everyone kinda runs and shoots, like Geonosis. <laughs> Everything becomes a plains of Geonosis. You're not my quest, right, Easy Pete? It's hard to watch a streamer play a RPG you played for thousands of hours. Yeah, because I just walk in circles and talk. I don't actually play. Hey, you're bad. I know you're bad. I played Fallout. I played this game before. Why is this my crappy gun? Where's my shotgun? Where's the good one? I've got heartache by the numbers. Sturdy shotgun blast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at the combat. This is why Fallout's the best franchise. Eat your heart out, Elder Scroll. Oh, we ducked. That was good, that was a good move. You wish your game had this combat. Die, Skyrim, yeah, take that. He got Cobb, duh, duh, duh. Vilif vilified? He's the bad guy, isn't he? He's the, oh, that's the Powder Ganger. Okay, never mind. I did, I did read. I did read that the powder ganger saved me. Don't worry, you're safe. I saved your town. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Nah, it was for fun. Where's the it was for fun option? What what's what do you do around here? You hunt geckos? Okay. I need to go to Prim. Oh yeah, Prim and Nipton. Those are names of towns. Heartache by a number, get out of here. You're gonna copy strike my broadcast. Uh, I should loot this guy. I already did. Lock terminal. Hey, look, I'm I'm the Hannah Montana guy. I like Hannah Montana guy. I forgot about him completely in my conversation. Hannah Montana guy was kind of a main character. He was like the main character for the vault section. His uh his section was good. Do you have physics? What? No physics on that? Come on. What are we doing licensing the Havoc physics engine if we're not going to use it? But yeah, his, uh, his little mystery of the vault was kind of good. I, I was, they did kind of drag out the vault plot line. It was like, something's, something's not right with the vault. Something's crazy. And it's like, I know. He, he just kind of walked around being unsettled for seven episodes, and then he finally found the truth. Some of the vault scenes felt a little bit like, eh. All right. It's a uh, this crazy place kind of messed up. I gotta learn how to play this game again. Where, where's the stupid data pad? That's one thing I don't like about Fallout is the Pip Boy sucks. The Pip Boy as a UI is god awful. Don't at me in the comments. Back in the saddle. Go meet Trudy. I'm meeting Trudy. Of course, I was just there. 
I could have met Trudy, but she's standing right next to the copyright broadcast. This will be my toughest challenge yet. Howdy. Turn it off. No music, please. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like. Yeah, it's fine. Like, well. Yeah, we'll just shoot all his friends in the head. It'll be fine. Anything interesting in the wasteland? Does Good Springs have visitors? You know that robot? I'm trying to track down the people. I overheard your argument. Where is Ringo now? All right, let's go talk to Ringo. Let's see what Ringo wants. Do I have console enabled? I do. Yeah, here we go. Bethesda time. <laughs> now the game got good. Now I know how to play it. I didn't get the second vault they got trapped in. They set the cult up and did nothing and they got sent away and it wasn't mentioned again. Well, no, that, that was uh, the cult overtook the vault tech. Because in that vault, the vault tech evil experiment got overthrown by the vault dwellers. And like, they're, they're a cult, but they're not like a, I mean, you know, they're probably evil. But they were like a well-meaning cult. They weren't that evil. Because you think the cult is automatically the bad guy, but it turns out the cult was kind of a good guy and the vault tech was bad. That, that was a filler, that was a filler arc where they were just in the vault again. That was like, well, we built a vault set, so we're gonna have another vault. Oh, this is Doc's house. This ain't the old gas station. And when, uh, when Jerry from Rick and Morty was the leader of the vault, I was like, oh no, it's Jerry. This, this gives me kind of a Rick and Morty feel. This, this vault kind of has a Rick and Morty type vibe. I'm getting real improvisational cable vibes from this one. And then when she was like chained up and they were like, we're gonna execute you, but actually we just let you go. Him, the uh, Titus guy coming in in the power armor and punching five people and then she was like, they're gonna let me go. I was like, oh, that was kind of pointless. They probably should have just cut that. I guess he had to, he, they wanted to have a scene where he had to decide between helping her and the luxuries of the vault. But maybe they should have just made them evil. Maybe the vault should have just been actually about to kill her and he comes and saves her. Because they're like, oh, we're friendly and he still punches them and he's like, oh, sorry, my bad. It's like, eh. Eh. I'm saying all the things that were eh, because saying something is eh is way easier than talking about the things that was good. Because the thing that was good just was good. Who are you? Overall, it was good. That one guy, that one uh, crappy squire guy who sucked. That guy was pretty good. He reminded me of the the son from Top Gun Maverick. He was <laughs> he reminded me of Top Gun Maverick guy. Cause you know he was he was a jerk, but he was a likable guy. He became a ghoul. I'm just having a look around. Oh, here we go. We're gonna shoot. Better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. We got off to a bad start. Sounds like typical Fallout playstyle. Yeah, the uh, the power armor guy, Maximus, he basically just goes around doing whatever is convenient and whatever gets him the most loot. That's what I do when I play Fallout, personally. I can empathize. Welcome to Vats. Click on this guy's head to murder him. Okay. What is it? Nope, hang on. <laughs> so, hang on, Ringo. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was trying to do that. That's what I was trying to do. Crap, I missed. How did I miss point blank? That's all me, honestly. All right, no more Ringo. Ringo is dead. No more heartaches by the number for him, am I right? Oh, empty bottle. Quest failed, gunfight, oh well. You killed Spider-Man's voice actor, RIP Spider-Man. No more PlayStation exclusives for you. Now PlayStation truly has no games. Just as God intended. Failing a gunfight with a gunfight. Yeah, you failed the gun. Well, that wasn't really a gunfight because he had no gun. He didn't have a weapon to gunfight with. Therefore, he failed. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin, a.k.a. Overseer, evil guy. Luc Lucy's dad. Lucy's dad. He was good. It, I, it was kind of annoying that he was in, like, two episodes. So he's good. I'm an Agent Cooper fan. 
Oh man, when he was de-aged? Oh, jeez. <laughs> he was like a JPEG of Agent Cooper. That was brutal. He brought nothing to a gunfight. You're supposed to bring a gun to a gunfight. He just brought fists. He drew a gun on me when I walked in. I said, whoa, chill out, man. I'm not here to shoot you. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're right. And they turned around and got shot in the head. Oboe playing with fire, loading all these cells. I know. What am I doing? Haven't I used the creation kit before? Sierra Madre, Happy Trails Reunion. They went that away. Isn't this? This is the, uh, yes, the main quest. Let's see if we can go on over to Prim, shall we, before the game crashes. I guess my commentary ends when the game crashes. Unless you want to see Fallout New Vegas full playthrough. I'm not really taking this seriously. If I was doing full playthrough, I wouldn't have killed everybody, but... What is that? Are you a can of beans on the side of the road? Bent tin can? Yeah, kick the can down the road. Havoc physics. Like I said, why do we have the Havoc physics if we're not going to use it? Um, does this have the same names that Skyrim has? Does it have a dance? No, does it have a... Maybe Idle Point Far? Maybe he... Maybe because the gun is out. Hang on, put the gun away. If you do a Fall New Vegas playthrough, I'll gift a sub. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna play through until the game ends, until it crashes. Yeah, what are the, I don't know what the animations are named in New Vegas. How about idle, uh, dance? Idle sweep? Maybe the naming convention is different. The naming convention called they want their names back. Before you venture deep into the character, or the wasteland, revise your character. Now nah, I'm good. The ghoul is ready to go. He's not particularly ghoulish. He's kind of ghoulish. He's like an old grandpa. I liked uh, the ghoul's pistol. The ghoul's pistol that had explosive rounds, that was cool. That thing was like, kablamo, whenever he shot it. That was a cool gun. They're adding the ghoul to Fallout 76. I briefly considered installing Fallout 76 and walking around Fallout 76 aimlessly instead of walking around Fallout New Vegas aimlessly to talk about Fallout TV show. But Fallout 76 is like 100 gigabytes, so I did not do that. Yeah, don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I didn't do it. I came to my senses. I didn't actually do it. Empty. Locked average. Oh yeah, in Fall, there's like a skill for lockpicking. It's not as you can do it for free if you have a bobby pin. What the? Okay. Oh, you were a bad guy, it's fine. That guy looks like Todd. You look like Todd Howard, sir. What's wrong with your eyelids? Why do your eyelids look like that? There you go. Fixed it for you. Oh, we're under attack, hang on. Back to playable FOV. Once you know the secrets of Bethesda consoles, it's difficult to take the game seriously. Watch this. Be gone, Shaq. The Shaq is gone. It's no longer there. Fallout 76 is free on Prime Gaming? Hmm. Because Fallout is Microsoft now, so I guess Microsoft cut a deal with Amazon to cut a deal with Todd, to cut a deal with Bethesda, to cut a deal with Zenimax. Imagine the legal loopholes that one had to have. Wonder where next year's naming convention will be held. Yeah, I wonder. Hopefully a place with a nice convention center. Maybe a hotel. Hey, stop it. How do you automatically know I'm bad? How do they immediately know? All I did was kill their boss. That shouldn't mean that I'm a bad guy. I got good karma. That's a landmine, ow. Stimpak, save me, Stimpak. I like to end the show, the Stimpak just heals you, and it's like, whatever. They didn't try to make that, like, realistic. They're like, yeah, Stimpak, Stimpak just fixes you, whatever. You're good, if you have Stimpak. Oh, I leveled up guns. Oh, I have no gun skill? What am I doing? Come on, the Gahul. 
Guns was like the Gahul's main skill. Let's see, what, is, what would the Gahul have? The Gahul would have intense training, probably. And some charisma. Got that ghoul Rizma. Got that dried out skin Riz. Every run is a challenge to see how long it takes me to use console commands. Mm -hmm. Look, there's the statue. The statue is right there. Dude, Fallout New Vegas is small. This isn't the largest game out there. Oh, there's the geckos. That's what Sunny Smiles likes to hunt. That's her job. That's what she does in the town. Yeah, I walk five feet out of the town and shoot some geckos. It's a living. Ooh, radiated water. Don't mind if I do. Sip, 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 sip. Delicious. I get a shotgun, not a rifle. It don't shoot too far. The one thing the show didn't explain is how did Moldaver get to the future? I guess I guess Moldaver just had a cryopod somewhere, and that's how she got to the future. Doesn't really matter, whatever. It doesn't really matter, and she had cold fusion, and she she had a little blue pill that makes the whole town have power, which is crazy. Now the Brotherhood's gonna be popping off. I thought which I thought was gonna happen at the ending scene when she was sitting in her chair dying. She was like, if your Brotherhood had that power. Wouldn't they be totally evil? And then I thought he was gonna go like shoot the cold fusion thing. I thought he was gonna shoot it right in its glowing blue node. He'd be like, this power shouldn't be allowed to exist. It's too dangerous or something like that, but nah. He didn't do that. Then when Moldaver was like, Lucy, here's the lore of your dad. And she was like, it can't be. I thought he was in Twin Peaks. I thought my dad was Dougie Joan the whole time. <laughs> at the at the ending scene where the headless power armor just walks in, I'm like, oh, I wonder, I wonder who's gonna get in the power armor because it's headless. I thought that Maximus would get in it, but nah, he didn't get in it. Agent Cooper was very, very stealthy when he got into that power armor. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed him getting into it. What a sneaky guy! Fun thing about New Vegas charisma is pointless. Because you put your points into barter and speech and win every check. I did not know that. Look, the NCR. Yeah, I was surprised when she saw the NCR flag in the classroom. I was like, they're going to have NCR in this? Okay. Look, it's the nerd. There's the nerd from the intro. I didn't know that they were going to have NCR in the show. I thought they would be cowardly. I thought they would have chicken out and only make it be about Bethesda Fallouts, but no. They put NCR in. So they could hit them with a nuclear bomb and say they died. Uh, that's so good. Thanks for the warning. Careful. I'm so glad that Todd Howard blew the NCR up with a bomb. That's hilarious. The clickbait gamer news videos write themselves. I, I it would probably take me under 30 seconds to find a video called like Bethesda doesn't respect Obsidian because they blew up NCR in their show they made. Charisma is useless, and so is perception. What are the stats? What do they even do? Is it a misc? Oh, prob probably the stats button would be stats, would help. You hit me with that stim pack, why not? Give me a stim strength, perception, endurance, charisma, agility, luck. At least it has a stat sheet. You better bet your bottom dollar that Skyrim 2 is not going to have any stats whatsoever. No stat sheet for that game, sorry. Bethesda triggers Obsidian. Mhm. Mm Bethesda hates Obsidian. Obsidian and Bethesda hate each other so much. The only thing Perception does is make your radar detect enemies a little further. Wow, that's pretty bad. Patrolling the Mojave makes you wish for a functional radar. Isn't this, uh, this is Nipton? Are you Nipton or Novak, or which one are you? Are you Prim? Nah, Prim is down more. Prim's a little bit further. 
That's Prim? I'm at Prim? Whoa. That's crazy. I didn't know that. How fast can you beat New Vegas? Can you just, like, beat this in, like, an hour? Wrap things up. As long as you don't play Old World Blues. Is, is Old World Blues any good? I remember when I played this game for the first and only time. I got really annoyed at Old World Blues because I couldn't leave and go back to the main game I actually cared about, so I hated it. It's the best one? I Dude, I, I really did not like it because it locked me in there. Maybe it's good. Maybe I'll give it another shot. Like I said, give me 25 gift subs on Twitch and I'll play this whole game for you. And I'll actually take it seriously. I won't just kill everyone for no reason. Whoa, barrel physics? So the welcome to New Haven sign did not have physics, but that did. How about you, tires? Nah, tire stack's not gonna move. Don't be ridiculous. Borderlands logo? Dumpster? Hey guys, look, I found the Borderlands movie. Ha 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 ha, hee hee hee. Ho 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 ho, very funny. What? What? Ah, oh, crap, here we go again. Good thing there's a glowing sign under him that says, Escaped Convict. You are convicted to give me your loot. What I was trying to do was this. I was trying to do this. What, the player despawns during TFC? Oh yeah, duh, because I was first person. Put me in third, there we go. Look, Ma, I found the Borderlands movie. Here it is. Hello, I'm Robert Fallout. <laughs> Console commands are too fun. They're too fun in Bethesda games. I've got heartaches by the number. I hate Ulysses from Lonesome Road. I don't think I played that one. I didn't play Joshua Graham one, or Ulysses one, or the Casera Madre Casino one. I only played Old World Blues. Again, this this might be over 10 years ago at this point. I only played Old World Blues, and I didn't like it because I couldn't leave. And so I was like, the other ones probably suck too. Little did I know, video essay Whiteman would sing their praises for years to come. I probably should just play all those DLCs. If everybody says they're good, they're probably good. You can't leave any of them? Oh, I hate them all. I've got no love for them, Daniel Wyand. Dynamite, uh. That was a good throw. Yeah, feel the wrath of my pistol. Stupid convict. Does a fire extinguisher shoot water when you shoot it? There's probably no water, right? Probably no water. Yeah, no water. That makes sense. Well, isn't there? There's a robot in here, right? There's a robot and Bonnie and Clyde. If I remember correctly, the goings on. Oh no, there's. This is where you rescue the guy. This is where you rescue the sheriff guy, I think. What does he say if I just come here without a quest? I wonder what NCR man thinks. A metal armor guy just walked past, said, yeah, I'll be careful. And shoots up the entire town right next to him. Feel my combat. How am I not over encumbered yet? It's crazy. That's usually the first status effect I fall victim to. Lonesome road you can re leave at any time? Ooh. Ooh. I don't have God mode on, right? No, I'm taking damage. My carry weight is crazy high. You put all your stats into strength? Oh yeah, that's why. That'll do it. Yeah, I'm shocked it hasn't crashed yet. I'm surprised that unmodded Fallout New Vegas has not yet completely failed to function. Guess I'm just lucky like that. Where's a grenade? I have a grenade. Any explosives? So the weathered 10 is good. I'll try the weathered 10. I'm weathered, I'm weathered. You, like that? you just got aimed down sights. Oh crap, I got flanked. 
I got apostrophe deed. You like that? Not really. Who <laughs> punches yeah. you lightly? You like that? Come on. I can punch you some more. Oh, now I'm encumbered. Uh oh. Give me that weird purple shirt. The purple shirt's a Fallout staple. It's one of the number one shirts in all the wasteland. Give me it. I need it. I've got heartaches by the number, troubles by the storm. I have too much inventory, gotta visit a store. Is it caravan outfit? What, what outfit is that crappy, uh, Merc Adventure outfit? Is it the crappy one? Yeah. This is the iconic armor. See, now that I have to walk around, now I can really suck in the great atmosphere. Well, they <laughs> These guys really had a lot of tables, huh? They're adopting my combat doctrine of flip the table to hide behind it. All right, what do I don't want here? I don't want all this crap that weighs a million pounds. How do, how do you scrap it? What's the scrap button? Yeah. That's how you reduce your inventory, right? Yeah, they, I, just, I gotta get a Sky UI mod for this. I, I've never liked the Pip-Boy. I played Fallout 3. I played Fallout 3. I think I played that before Skyrim, and I was like, oh boy. I've hated the Fallout inventory my entire life. I don't care how immersive it is. The Skyrim inventory sucks as well. Well, I wanted to put it on his head. Hang on. Can you not... Pick stuff up in this? Is there no like hold use key to drag stuff around in this one? New Vegas did come out before Skyrim. That, that's why I was wondering. I was like, I know they came out before Skyrim, but did I? Because I didn't play Oblivion until a few years ago. Or like last year, rather. Was it? I, I forget time. It was like during COVID I played Oblivion. Or maybe it was after COVID. I have no clue. Hold Z? Could it be Z? We gotta find an interactable first. Perfect, okay. Hold on, young man. I need to maintain all my armors real quick. Oh, I got a cowboy hat? Yeah, I'm the ghoul now. I'm ghoulish, I'm ghoulish. I wanted to not do that, but whatever. Yeah, repair these vermin rifle. So repaired. Yeah, repair a tire iron. Compare the old 9mm. What do I have now? Just a shirt? Sure. The ghoul wears a shirt occasionally. Where's my misc? They decided lists would be a better choice, yeah. Just, just give me a grid. Just give me a Morrow in the grid type thing. Where's my bucket? Is it pot? Drop. You're so screwed, dude. You have no choice. You have no choice but to be blinded by the ghoul. <laughs> what if what if the ghoul, like, put a bucket on Lucy's head then took her entire inventory? That'd be a funny scene. Is this not going to work? I'm not confident in this working. It seems to have weird clipping on his head. <laughs> Sorry. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Who are you? Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. How'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law They just shot at me. The Why didn't they just shoot at him? They into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched him for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest mm -hmm. to He's got a long story. Stay put for now. To rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Yeah, well, if you're not careful, buddy, you might lose feeling in your head as well. Reloads pistol menacingly. Racks the slide for no reason. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 I know, Bethesda. At least it's not Oblivion. At least this is the Fallout lockpicking, the one that makes sense. Oblivion lockpicking makes more sense. It's just more annoying. 
<laughs> it's it's slightly more difficult. Therefore, give me the baby mode, please. Oh, that was just a shortcut. Okay. Well, deputy. Deputy, hello. I way way prefer the Oblivion one. It's they're both good. I don't have a preference. Just I like Skyrim for convenience. The Oblivion one's more in-depth. But it, Skyrim is not exactly a thinking man's game, so... Putting any thinking at all in there... Is against my religion, personally. Oblivion lockpick, you mean spamming auto? Yeah, spam auto. Break the lockpicks. What do you think, chat? What do you think? What's the fate of Deputy Beagle? Do we help Deputy Beagle? Or do we blow him away? About to give this guy some heartaches by the number. Where's the grenade? Yeah. Actually, no, he hates the powder gangers, so it would be ironic if he got dynamited, right? Wouldn't that be ironic? It's like rain on your wedding day. I waited for no input from chat, by the way. That was all me. <laughs> no, deputy. R.I.P. deputy. So sad that he got imploded. Wait, I didn't want to click again. Crap. All right, back to the pistol. Let's get back, back to the gun, back to the weapon that's really fun. Single shotgun? Sure, why not? Oh, it's got no bullets, that's why not. Deputy Beagle, no, who did this to you? Give me your clothing. I think it's incomprehensible. Is Oblivion's a speech minigame? Yeah, I think it's crazy. I mean, I get it, it's just weird. It's like, what? I get it's an abstraction of having an actual conversation, but it's it's very strange. They're like, oh, how dare you? Well, yes, you're my friend. I trust you. I trust you. How dare you? Ah, yes. It said listen to his, uh, he had a radio recording or something. He had some kind of a, what is it, mysterious broadcast? No. He had a, uh... A diary. He had something I had to listen to. I got that far in the reading comprehension, then I gave up. I'm gonna throw a spear. Data misc. Aha. This is most unusual. The powder gang are Sounds unusual. Today. I guess there's a first for everything. Look like a farmer. I'm ready to till the field. Head to Novak through Nipton. Quick save. How did this not crash yet? Honestly, good job. Obsidian. Obsidian? Yeah. Oblivion? What the? Everyone says this game's so unstable. This game's fine. Who's shooting at me? Had enough? Not really. Come here. Crap, my mouse got unlocked. Stay here. There we go. Nope, it got unlocked again. Oh, God. It's scrolling. It's scrolling my Twitch chat. I can't read chat now. Scroll back down. I guess we're playing in the ultimate zoomed out third person. Why is there a fence here? Get that out of here, Todd. Don't have time for your boundaries. Oh crap, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Aha. You have to tell a joke even though you know they don't like it. Yeah, it's weird. It's all about minimizing the uh, downside and maximizing the upside, but it's like I would just not, I would just not bring that up at all, ever. Bum 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 ba bum ba bum bum. Yeah, you, you kind of need the music. I kind of want the music, but I can't be playing the music. That's the issue. Although maybe you can. Maybe you can play some of the Fallout music because it's so old. Maybe there's some parts of it that have fallen into the public domain. Is Buddy Holly in uh, public domain? Ooh you. Put him in the domain, yeah. I think if your song was included in Windows 95, you should automatically be public domain. I think we all own Weezer. That's that's why there's a we in Weezer. It stands for we. They are our band. 
All right, you can own me, but I'm gonna make really crappy music for 20 years. Oh no, Weezer, don't. Tell me what you want. Is this a settlement? Uh-oh, what happened here? Someone cut this guy's leg off. It was probably me. I probably just forgot that I did this. You guys okay? Oh no, it was those guys. Yeah, they suck. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Am I going back towards Sunset Town? Yeah, I went back towards Sunset Town. Oh, shucks. That's a landmine. Ow. I lost karma. What? For take? I already killed them. Yeah, you can kill them, but don't take their stuff. If Grave Robbing loses karma, the Dragonborn is going straight to hell. This direction is fine if you want content. No, I don't want to get death clawed. I don't want to get stun locked by death claws. I'm looking to make some progress with my trusty blade. My limbless spear build has never before been attempted. Can I take the grocery cart with me? Does this thing move? Nanophysics. I gotta find a shopping cart. Oh, the gecko is back. It's Gex. Die, Gex. Holy crap. Whoa. Whoa. I never actually used these before. What the? These are amazing. I missed crap. I missed crap. That sucked. There we go. Dude, throwing spear is the best item in Fallout history, actually. Throwing spear is insane. That was like a fastball grenade from Borderlands. Karma does nothing in New Vegas apart from upset one companion if it's low. Hmm. That's why you never, that's not even, you never want to peel back the mystery, you know? When you got a game like this that has the aura where it's like, this is the best game ever. Don't look at the mechanic. Don't actually play it. <laughs> don't play it. Whatever you do, don't play it. Just listen to people tell you how good it is and then agree and be like, yes, clearly New Vegas is the best one. I'm an enlightened gamer. I know I know New Vegas is the right one. I know the correct opinion is New Vegas is the best. I'm well aware of these facts. Indisputable facts. Oh, the game was kind of a rush job and it didn't work when it came out and it still kind of doesn't work. Shut up. No, it's good. Will the whole NCR try to kill me if I kill this guy? Because NCR is right up there, right? In NCR right up top there. Do I, can I tell him about Beagle? Do you want to hear about Beagle? No, nah, he doesn't care. Excuse me, NCR. I'm looking for some heartaches by the number. Perhaps you'd like to have some trouble by the storm. <laughs> Dude. Holy crap. <laughs> I got to do a spear only playthrough. How do you get more spears? If I have to join the Legion to get more spears, I'm doing it. Dude, I want to do a spear only run. This is the greatest weapon in history. Why is there no throwing spears in Skyrim? This thing is awesome. Console? Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Drop one, how do I drop it? And then, what are you? What? That's the wrong ID for it. I type it in wrong. FF 00130A. What am I? What am I missing here? 01. Is it because plug-in order? Hmm. Cause give me an error for the item code, but that's the item code, right? Try. Have you selected yourself? Oh no, I didn't select myself. The throwing spear is selected. Let me let me let me select my guy. There we go. No. Replace FF with zero zero. Uh. 
Yeah, it might be like the plug-in order. I don't think so, though. We'll see. No. Try this one. 0014. D2. AC. Yeah, 1,000 spears added. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> need to be able to carry them. Yeah. All right, this is a good playthrough. Fallout just got crazy. I wish the ghoul would use spears instead of a cool gun that blows everybody up. Just like Todd intended. Mm -hmm. I don't really want God mode on, but I want to have infinite spears. I probably didn't need 10,000 of them. I don't think I'll use that many. You turn on God mode. Yeah, let's check the time. The recording says like 56 minutes before God mode got turned on. But it didn't get turned on to win a combat though. It got turned on to carry infinite spears. There, There's a difference. I think there's a difference there in purpose. The spear man wanders the waste with only his trusty ballistic missile spears. Player dot mod AV for carry weight. Nope. I gotta click my guy. Nope. What is the missing part of that command? You didn't type carry weight? Ma oh yeah, attribute value carry weight though. There we go. No more god mode required. Now I'm a menace to the wasteland. Watch me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable all communications in the entire wasteland. And just like that, the NCR got crippled and then got blowed up in the Fallout show. Because there was no more phone line. The end. What's up, Obo Nation? What's up, Obo Nation? Welcome to the stream, Obo Nation. Welcome to somehow Fallout New Vegas has given me a solid hour of crash-free gameplay, which is nuts. I'm eternally grateful. Oh, someone's pissed. Is it escaped convict yet again? Must I give the convicted a taste of my blade? What the? Oh, it's ghoul. It's the ghoul. Hi, ghoul. I'm a ghoul. Just like you. Okay, hang on. We need a little bit of stim pack action, I think. All right, what are you, what are you guys doing? Get out of here. Jackal gang. Who is the jackal gang? Who are you guys? Never heard of you guys in my life. <laughs> you gained karma. Sure did. That's me. That was a good throw. Dude, the spear is so good in this game. What the heck? I had no idea. I had no clue that spear was the best weapon. Oh, I, I thought I wanted guns, but I don't. Where's throwing weapons? Melee? Barter energy? What? Does any of these give you more, like, throwing power? Would it be melee? It is melee? Okay. I'm going melee. I'm going melee. Done. That's where the A is done. What's in here? Anything good inside the old FU building? Hey. Nope. Hey, no. Oh boy. Come on. Oh dear. I admire your fighting a spear. It's Die. <laughs> Our epic battle. My health is very low. Do I have a mattress in here? Can I hit uh, Can I hit weight on a mattress? Get all my health back, please. 
Enemies are nearby? Oh, come on. Come on, Todd. Why gotta be like that, Todd? Sounds like a creature is nearby. Is there a creature in the toilet? There's a rad roach in my toilet bowl. Are they in there? He's happy. Yeah, he's happy. Ow. What? I killed an enemy with a melee. I stepped on him. Does that count? Die. <laughs> you just step on him? Dude, melee is the best in Fallout. Dead Prospector. R.I.P. Prospector. Find any good prospects lately? I guess not. I hear one more Mantis. Where'd he go? Is he upstairs? All right, that was good. That was a good pit stop. I want to get to the statues, though. The statues are a great icon. Isn't like that way is the right way? Which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way? Because you're supposed to go all the way around. You're not supposed to just go right through there because you'll get killed by a death claw. Uh oh. Interstate. Get out of town. Yeah, take that interstate. <laughs> Some games have bullet holes for the road sign. But in Fallout New Vegas, a spear has penetrated the signage. Deathclaw can't handle the spears? Probably not, honestly. Because you think about like a bullet is so small. Of course a bullet won't stop those guys. But a spear? I reckon a spear would stop just about any dang old varmint. <laughs> Not 9,000 of them, yeah. I bet you a Deathclaw would die to 10,000 spears. I bet you that would work. I got a hunch. Oh no. My limbs, my limbs are fine, good. My character does not have paper bones. What uh what companions are up here? And there there's like caravan ladies up here, right? Who's up here? I need a companion to carry around all my spears for me. Somebody had a good time here. A lot of soda pop. Cass is there. Ghost is there. Roach, I'm in Fort New Vegas. Roach, you can't throw a spear at Mekarov. Mekarov is weak to ancient warfare tactics. We gotta hit him with a sling, Roach. Put a pebble in your slingshot, Roach. That's Caffeine Man's truck, yeah. He was on his way to his studio to do more reviews and the bombs fell. Spear the watermelon. <laughs> nice. Wow, that statue kind of sucks. The low LOD look good, but now that I'm up close, it's kind of bad. In the year 2071, they did it. I am new in town. Coming from the north, must be crazy to brave those. Roads. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I had a spear. Nothing I know of, but if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. Sniper, you say? Is that sniper a follower? Watch yourself. Okay, bye. I'm the ghoul, by the way. Eh, cowboy hat guy is kind of lame. I think I think we need the NCR to take over here. Oh no, the bo they both disappeared. Oh no. <laughs> oh crap. Come back. Oh, no. 
<laughs> they weren't selected. I was hoping just the cowboy guy would vanish and just NCR would remain. Shaking hands with no one. That's not good. Todd Howard, what happened to the NCR in the Fallout show? Uh, you know, I accidentally disabled them with the console. It can happen. Are you a follower? You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Depends on the work. I think there's trouble in well, that layer depends, depends on the work. While I can I'm the way, ghoul. I smoke from the town, I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. I'll do it. All right. I'll go see if it's okay. Never mind, I'll be going now. Hopefully, they didn't get blowed up by Kaisar's Legion. Those guys got a chainsaw. They will cut you down. Hmm. I thought that was the command. Sounds like we're running trim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. Okay. The Legion awaits at the gates of hell, and the NCR is gonna send them in. I mean, that makes the Legion look awesome. That's propaganda for the Legion. That's not a good poster. I want to join the Legion now. Just re-enable them. I tried to enable. I couldn't click them though. I don't, do I still have them? I, is it re-enable? I thought it was just enable. I thought I still had them selected. They didn't come back though. Playing modded? Nope, vanilla, baby. No mods at all. I said I was going to play till it crashed as a joke, but it looks like I'm going to play the entire game because it hasn't crashed yet. Let's go, Sonning. dun 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 I know the lyrics. I know Big Iron. To the town of our heroes, a new one fun day. Never spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. He was there to take an outlaw back alive, or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, and he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. To the town, to the... Capital of White Run Road, a red guard road, Alakir one day. There we go. Big iron, but it's the Alakir warriors looking for Sadia. To the capital of White Run Road, the Alakir one day. Spoke to every folk around him who'd hear what they had to say. They were looking for Sadia, who lives in the Bannered Mare. And if you bring her to them, they'll give you a standard fare. Pay you standard fare. Now he walked into the tavern, and he saw Sadia there. She said, let's not talk in public. Follow me right up the stair. Then she pulled out a dagger and said, I don't know if I can trust you, but if you help me, then the Alakir will be dust. <laughs> Alakir will be dust. The Dragonborn went over to the Alakir's cave. And he killed them really fast with a sword and a glaive. Uh oh, I found the whole jackal gang. Hey, let's get this guy. This guy's got a spear. Hey, check out this guy. He's got a spear. Surely the entire jackal gang <laughs> won't die to him. Oh crap, boss. He's got infinite spears. <laughs> how many? How many does he have? It's like he's got thousands of them or something. Who dares? Die, jackal gang. I have fighting spirit. <laughs> Feel the wrath of my fighting spirit. Curve sword on their hip. There you go. Oh, she might have escaped to Hammerfell politics if she, but she made a fatal slip when she tried to face the warrior with the curve sword on his hip. 
who would win Arizona Ranger or Gary Roach Sanderson? Probably Gary Roach Sanderson. Because Gary Roach Sanderson can shrug off one boy. Gary Roach Sanderson has an ACR red dot silencer. I mean, the Arizona Ranger. He's got the big iron, but I mean, come on. Gary Roach Sanderson has an ACR heartbeat sensor. And he has soap. Whenever Gary Roach Sanderson is going to die, soap comes in and saves him. So the, the Texas Ranger would like pull his gun out. And then soap would just snipe him. And be like, this one's mine. There's a reason we brought silencers. Skyrim, Big Iron, is Ragnar the Red, yeah. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came running to Wyvern from a workstead. And the bagger just swagger and burnished his blade as he tore all the battles and gold he had made. But then he went quiet at Ragnar the Red when he met the shield made in Matilda who said, Oh, you talking, you boast, you drink all our mean. I think it's the time that you light on and bleed. Hello, lottery winner. Are you feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Hmm. Time for me to go. Later. Bye. Can I spear his head off? Get him. Yeah. Bring it on, Legion. Hang on, I gotta heal. <laughs> Hang on, Legion. I'll be with you in a minute, Legion. Where's my uh, quick stim pack? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That feels real good. I'm coming, Legion. Watch out. Prepare to get stabified. Where are they? Isn't, like, Legget guy supposed to be here? Isn't there supposed to be a guy here that's like, aha. Uh -huh. Ha ha ha, we're evil. Oh, he's over there, probably, right? Yeah. How many we got? Well, I just killed the whole Jackal gang. I killed the entire Jackal gang, no problem. So how much how much trouble are these guys really going to cause me, you know? How bad can they really be? Are you okay? They're near death. To remove them would kill them. That'd probably kill them, too. Got any loot? Nope. Hey, you guys, you guys, uh... We're trying to kill this guy over here? Yeah, you didn't kill him. He's not dead. I can, I can handle it for you. There you go. <laughs> that guy's Soap. He's Soap McTavish. Oh, no. Soap McTavish is dead by my hand. That's so sad. Listen, buddy. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you have them by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton. I want you to teach... E Alright. Then I bid you all a... Until we meet again. You got it. You guys can go ahead and head on out of town. Please all exit in a single file line. Yep, there we go. Looks good. Single file line is much easier to throw spears at. Dogs could be a problem, potentially. I can waylay him though, right? I can just do this. <laughs> oh no, he's running to catch up, crap. Hold your tongue, wastrel. Hi. I'm trying to waylay him. Alright, screw it. Oh crap, they got guns. Feel the wrath of my spear. Eh, crap. Eh. I respect the machete, guys. Not the chainsaw guy, he's lame. He's a real man's weapon like a spear. Hunt like your ancestors did. Give him the old Far Cry Primal. Eh. I was the leader. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Hang on. I got something on my shoe. Yeah, good karma. 
You hear that bad guys? Killing you gave me good karma. Maybe you guys are evil this whole time. Bet you never thought of that, did ya? Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh no, he staggered me. My wounds. My grievous wounds. He ducked. He dodged it. Holy crap, that was so close. He dodged it. He dodged my spear. That was a brutal battle. Versus those loyal to Kaisar. Hopefully they have some stim packs on them. Got any stims? Talk Ren, thank you, Talk Ren, for subscribing. Talk Ren, okay. I'm Kaisar Ren, I'm talking. This is how I sound. This is how I sound, because I'm Kylo Ren. I got no more stim packs? Uh oh. What kind of drugs can I get addicted to? Eat it all. Oh, super stim pack. I'm good. Yeah, okay. That was not too bad. Another victory for the Spear Man. <laughs> Caesar's Leeson has been vanquished. Where's he live? Where's Kaisar live? Aw, oh, crap. What did I take? I took some sepia tone. Oh, crap. One yet remains. They still draw breath. What is going on? <laughs> what did that take? RIP, doggo. I'm so sorry. Anybody home? Please, there'll be more guys in here. Oh, no! Fallout, no! Well, there it is. There's the crash. There's the crash we were waiting for. Okay, I kind of want to play all New Vegas as Mr. Spear. Let me know if you want to see more Spear gameplay, because it is hilarious. <laughs>